And if your man woke you up at 2 a.m., he said, baby, can you cook me a meal? Would you cook your man a meal if he woke you up at 2 a.m.? No. Just to be honest. <laughs> be honest. Oh, what about you, Kiki? It all depends on how I'm feeling. All right, it depends. Oh, you well, know it depends. It depends on the situation. Here's another question. If an intruder broke inside the house, would you or would you not expect your man to go downstairs and handle that break at the door? Natasha. Absolutely. Allie. Yes. Kiki. All I'm saying is if you don't, it's over after that. Uh, yeah, I would expect that. What I've heard was that a woman's swipey duty <laughs> is based off her feelings, right? Uh. It depends on how I feel. But the man's duty of protecting you, it's mandatory. How is it a fair deal? These are so different. Like, yeah, the one is like, not, the the one is like you're both about to die, maybe. Right. And if you don't know, you're going to die. Right out. So it's not about the situation. It's about what the man is attracted to, and it's about what the woman is attracted to. The man is attracted to femininity, submissiveness. The woman is attracted to masculinity, protecting and providing. So if you're not giving what we are naturally attracted to, it's not a fair deal if we have to always give you what you're naturally attracted to. A <laughs> that's going to protect you. Make sense? Mm -hmm. He took, he took, he took he the shots. Put the shots, <laughs> the shots, yeah, for the shots I mean, it just is, the brother here is spot on. You know what I'm saying? Like they, the man that, like, and if a brother can't do that for him, then it's like she said, it's, it's done. Mm. But the smallest thing, like, hey, baby, go make me a sandwich. No matter what time it is, mm. it depends on how you feel. So it's just not fair. It's just not right. You know what I'm saying? And any man in his right mind will see that and peep that. And why protect the one who's not willing to, to do the small things for you? You know what I'm saying? That's just a real small thing. If you ain't going to make me a sandwich... What else ain't you gonna do that I need? Mm. And the protection alone is priceless. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's nothing you can do, there's nothing you can give that's gonna amount to a man laying his life down for you. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't understand that value and you don't appreciate a man that that, that actually do that for you, you you don't deserve no man. Mm. That just is what it is. Man, if I can, I want to grab uh, Ciroc 26 and. 25 on the good news. Okay. So rock 26 and 25. Because this is what we see right here. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> and, uh, you know, sisters, man, I know, you know, we stress this a lot about understanding, you you know, your place and your position. Well, your position is as property. Mm -hmm. You know, that's probably about as plain as I can get it. You know what I'm saying? Property, you know. And the reason why it's that is mm -hmm. because you, you have to understand uh, the importance of your own property. Like, you got property. So you know how to handle property. And you know how your, your property is supposed to act. So say, for instance, you got a car. You know what I'm saying? That mother just don't act right. You take it to get fixed. You don't just let it not act right. You know what I'm saying? It's just all good. I'm going to just use it like this here. <laughs> no, that's not what you do. What you really do is you get it fixed or you get rid of it and get a car that actually works. That's how possessions work. Nobody keep a possession that don't work. Mm -hmm. So since you understand how possessions work, you would understand why it's important that a man's possession work correctly. Because just as children, a child is able to understand. You tell a child, hey, don't do that. Child got, you know, barely able to, you know what I'm saying? The, the brain still functions, still growing, still getting bigger. So the child got a limited uh, ability of understanding. The woman is older. That means she has more understanding, right? That it's means she should be, right. <laughs> she should be better at obeying you than a child. And that's just the truth of the matter. She should actually know better. On top of that, she knows her salvation is on the line. She know that God says she can't divorce her husband. Mm -hmm. She knows things that's set in stone that the child don't know and the child still obey. So a lot of times we allow them to get away with the stuff they're doing and it's because we not pushing the narrative of being the head of the household or the Lord of the household because that's what the head of the household is. So let's read this real quick so we can see how the difference between a woman that's going by your will and a woman got going by her own will. Go ahead. It's the book of Sirach, or also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 26, verse 25, in the Good News Translation. Good News Translation. What's the good news? Go ahead. 
A self-willed woman is a bitch. Is a what? Is a bitch. But a woman with a sense of decency honors the Lord. So we have to understand, brothers, we can't redo these rules now because she's too fine. We can't do that. And that's where we be going off. We're like, hey, man, look at the that thing on the back. Serious now. Mm -hmm. We got to be able to, like you said, beauty is vain. We got to have that type of spirit in order for us to see the spirit on these women. So if the woman is saying stuff like, oh, well, I ain't getting no, it depends on how I feel. Mm -hmm. This is going by her own will. She does not feel she have a master, a ruler, any type of authority over herself. That's why she's saying stuff like that. Because guess what? If this, this scenario was changed and it said, if your boss said, wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning and go to work, all of them getting up and going to go clock in. All of them. Why? Because they understand the importance of the order and authority with their boss. And they trying to go for the immediate gratification, which is the money. Mm -hmm. So because they understand that, they getting up going. But this gratification... Unlike in this scenario where the brother was saying somebody break in, this gratification normally is not coming until the end when Christ returns, where the Lord is able to say, well done, good and faithful servant. That's what you want to hear, and that's when your your real gratification, your, your thanks going to really come at that point in time. But because of the the, the weight is, is so off, because the woman feels like she's up here and she's really so much farther down, mm -hmm. It causes an issue in her head where she thinks that she don't have to do what the man say. She don't even understand she's a possession. Which, let's get that real quick. Because I said property. I'm sure some of y'all ears would start bleeding as soon as y'all heard that. This your king said this, man. That's what he said. This is your king. The one you praying to. The one you expecting to heal your family and do good things for you. Well, he's telling you how to get these good things. The only way it's going to happen is if you're in full obedience to him. 36 and uh, 24. Uh, this is the book of Sir. Huh? Get it up there. Okay. So that I know we ain't just making up. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you was about to make something up. They already. <laughs> Hold on. 36, 24. 24. God. This is the book of Sirach, also known as Ecclesiasticus, chapter 36, verse 24. He that gets a wife begins a possession, mm -hmm. a help like unto himself. A what? A help like unto himself. I know y'all don't want to hear this, but y'all are the help. Y'all are the help. It is not about you. It's not about your career. It's about your husband and his career, the things he want to do, and you there to help him do it. Mm -hmm. That's just your job. Go ahead. And a pillar of rest. A pillar of what? Rest. You're supposed to give this man rest. You're not supposed to be giving this man stuff to do. <laughs> You're supposed to be giving him rest. You're supposed to be helping him do stuff. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Where no hedge is, uh -huh. there the possession is spoiled. So these are the rules and regulations and boundaries you got to put around this woman. Without having that, the possession is going to be ruined. It's not going to be no good, and it's going to be robbed, taken away. Another man will be able to take that possession. Because mm -hmm. you didn't put no boundaries on it. You got out there doing whatever. You got it in the streets. You got it in the clubs. And you're making it seem like it's cool because she has the intuition to know what's right and wrong. We got to take rulership of our house. We can't think that they got the intuition and they're going to do right. These are lies, man. The women, there's no such thing as women intuition. All right? Get that out your head. You know better than these women. Right. Trust yourself. Trust that God was right when he put the man over the woman and he said the man is Lord over the woman. Trust that. All right? Just as much as a, a, a parent is lord over the child, that's how much you are over that woman. Mm -hmm. And that's how much you know better than that woman. But you got to trust yourself and stop trusting them over yourself. Uh, go ahead. It says, where no hedge is, uh -huh. there the possession is spoiled. Mm -hmm. And he that has no wife will wander up and down mourning. In a state of mourning. Well, that's the reason why brothers is hurt like that. You know what I'm saying? Brothers lose their wife, it's hurt. You're mm -hmm. in a state of mourning. You know what I'm saying? Women just out there, oh, I'm finna go find me another day. I'm finna be in the club. I'm finna go do this. While we broken hearted than a mother. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? But again, the Lord see that. <laughs> if nobody else care about our broken heart but the Lord. Mm -hmm. Just so you know, man, they're gonna get theirs. Don't get it twisted. But you cannot hold on to a woman that do not fear God. That's right. 
the Lord said, treat them as he treat the church, right? So then if you allow them to be disobedient, allow them to do everything, you're not fulfilling that commandment. Mm -hmm. That's breaking the commandment, and they call that... A sin, sin. A sin, sin, sin. That's what it is, right? Mm -hmm. You are the one in the midst of sin when you allow this woman to treat you in a way that you wouldn't even treat the Lord. Mm -hmm. That means you know that I would never talk to the Lord like that. So you got to be able to tell her and convey that information because <laughs> she don't get it. You got to tell her, look here, the way you just talk to me, you know you wouldn't talk to the Lord like that. Stop it. Mm -hmm. You got to keep it real with her. You got to break it down to her in order to bring her off that high horse. She have to understand your position in the household and understand how important it is to her salvation. If she don't understand that, she's going to try to be a partner instead of a possession, which is property. All right? Very important, brothers. We have to understand and treat them as God say treat them, not the way America taught us to treat them. That's what's causing us to have problems in our house. All right, let's get back to it. You had something else on that? Nah, you got it, man. Come on, come on. All right. Let's go to the next one. 